Essentials right here, baby. All right, so we finally got here. If you recognize where we are, don't tell anybody. Uh, yeah, we got here. It's about 9.22, uh, just under 9.30. There's another guy over there who's fishing. I don't know what exactly he's fishing for, but we're going to set up our freaking rig my guys and uh, girls you know can't be sexist uh, anyway it's gonna be super easy let me get some water because I'm thirsty oh, yeah. <clears throat> uh, the pandemic is still going on uh, so that's fun um, I forgot my mask in my car, so I feel kind of stupid doing that, but it's okay. Ew. Did it leak? I think it leaked. Why'd it leak? Anyway, if you guys know what these are, they're just, um, what are they? Sandworms? Sand eels? No. Sand sandworms. I think they're sandworms. They're imitation sandworms. But, uh, yeah. Actually really easy to use. They actually last a pretty long time. I didn't, the first time I bought these, I didn't think these were gonna last very long. They're very squishy and uh, uh, very rubbery. Not even rubbery, just like, yeah, just way too squishy. But you know what? They actually hold together pretty well. Uh, and yeah, they catch small fish, but I mean, it's consistent, which is good. We like consistency. We like quantity over quality. Sometimes, unless we're unless we're hungry, then we really want quality. Uh, I'm gonna just go ahead and put this down here to the side. I decided to bring out my fly rod just because, you know, why not? You know, if it's looking good, we can probably catch something on the fly. But if it's looking bad, we probably won't catch anything on the fly. Dude, I literally just bought these yesterday and they're already starting to rust. That's what you get when you buy Ozark Trail, I guess. Shout out to Ozark for making such quality gear. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put those to the side. I forgot my weight. Uh, I'm gonna just keep this out for now because I feel like I'm gonna go through a good amount but anyway i've just been using these uh four ounce ball weight or cannonball weights and uh they work pretty well maybe not the desired weight selection for my small little gx2 um bait casting reel but gets the job done sinks to the bottom pretty quick and i can pretty much fish almost immediately after casting anyway put that down uh I just made, I think it's called a T-knot. I could be wrong. It's probably like a dropper knot or loop dropper. Uh, but anyway, hook up my cannonball to the bottom. Put my, this is a Mustad. I think it's a Mustad uh, size one hook, one size one circle hook. And then I'll just thread the, Thread the little worm around. And you can do this with real uh, night crawlers or real uh, blood worms. Either will work. I just like these because it's much more cost efficient for me. I'm not a very rich man. Can't go out buying blood worms every single day of my life. Uh, but that's literally it. So you got your cannonball weight hooked up. Uh, then you have your T knot, which you can make. And then just another uh, swivel here with your circle hook and bloodworm. And I can almost guarantee you if the conditions are right, we will start getting a bite on in just a few seconds. I'm gonna cast it out. Probably like right here is good. And it's actually really high tide today. Uh, the tide is abnormally high right now. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna put my, I'm gonna put this down for a second and put my headphones away because I'm not using them just yet. And we are just gonna chill out, guys. Guys and gals. 
just hang out for a bit. I'm gonna go and reconsolidate. Oh yeah, he's on there. There you go. Oh, ah, oh, he came off. I don't know if you can see that. He's just floating down calmly. What a uh, what a guy. That's okay. Okay. Well, we know the fish are here, so we're just gonna go ahead and uh, keep fishing. This is as easy as you can get it. Oh, there we go. Another bite on. They're biting again. It's kind of hard with these smaller flounder uh, when to actually go because. With circle hooks, you're not supposed to set the hook. The fish is supposed to set the hook on itself. But the problem is these guys are not the strongest of swimmers. They're they're juveniles. Uh, here in the Puget Sound, the spawning season, I believe, like just ended a few weeks ago. So these guys are brand new babies. Oh, there we go. Yep. All right. Now we got them on. I think. Nope. Okay. That's fine. Looks like... Uh, anyway, yeah, so it's it's kind of hard to judge when to actually, you know, pull the line up. Sometimes they actually do hook themselves. Sometimes the circle hook does its proper job. Sometimes you actually have to set the hook on them. It just depends. Uh, yeah, it can be hard sometimes, but, you know, we'll get after it. That feels like something on there. Yep, there we go. First, oh, he came off. That's okay. These guys are so easy to catch. I'm not too worried about it. It's kind of crazy. It's like if, if it was sunny out, it's actually pretty clear water right now. It's probably why these guys can see it so well. It'd be fun to send uh, this one down there sometime and uh, let them check it out. There we go. There we go. All right, first fish of the day. There we go, and he's gone. Uh, you know what, I'm gonna fix that. Okay guys, we're gonna do it again. Hold on, let's go bring this in real quick. Super easy, super simple, cannonball weight, little blood worm uh, from, uh, what is it called? This thing is gulp. Yeah, Berkeley gulp, super easy. Watch this, first cast, let's time it. I'm gonna wait for it to set at the bottom. Okay, we're set. One, two, three, four, five, six. Already getting taps. Six seconds. Six seconds of actual fishing and I'm getting taps. Seven, eight, nine, ten. And I'm going to just go ahead and calmly pull it up. Yep, there we go. He's on. Oh, yeah. Easy day. <laughs> What's great about these small ones is you could actually keep them and probably next season uh, when lingcod opens up, you can either cut them up for bait or you can keep them. Uh, or you can be like me. Whoa, what happened here? There we go. That's, yeah, there we go. Cool. And then, boom. Easy. Dip, maybe. Come on. Uh, he ate it. No, he ate the end of the budworm. This guy. Shoot. I feel kind of bad now. I don't want to release him, but I know it'll pass through his system perfectly fine. Okay, let's let him go. You guys ready? Oh, there he goes. He's up, little dude. All right, let's go ahead and re-rig, because like I said, they let, for some reason like the tail. They like it with a little tail action, a little, they like that tail, you know? Make sure you guys don't throw it away in the ocean because this is, that's not cool. Go and just throw it on your bait bucket or whatever tackle you, whatever garbage bag you carry with you and throw it away when you go home, okay? Don't be a douche. There's another one, another one for the morning. Like this is so easy to do. Oh God, calm down, buddy. I'm trying to let you go. Oh, there we go. All right, buddy. Come on. Okay, guys, I've been fishing for just a little bit longer. I was worried that uh, this whole spot got screwed because a huge sea lion just uh, just ran right by. It was kind of cool, though, because I got to see it uh, swim by because, you know, this is like a shallower side. But like I saw it, I was like, oh, my God, that thing is huge. What the hell is that? And then it surfaced. I was like, oh, it's just a sea lion. But yeah it's weird it just died like right all around here 
and I'm even trying to go out a little bit more and it just died as well so oh god hold on let's recast that that was I can't put that on YouTube just kidding I'm totally gonna put it on YouTube um there's some guys out there who are scuba diving so I think they're about to have like a show of their life and have so much fun hanging out with a sea lion so if you see that on YouTube um I was there too you know so I should basically get royalty for that um because I'm the one who OG spotted it I'm like an OG spotter bro like bird watchers ain't got on me and yeah there we go that sucks let's go and just recast that out there wait for uh probably right there let it sink naturally uh anyway i was going to talk about this this is the uh ugly stick gx2's bait casting rod this is a whoa am i really getting hits i can't tell God, wait, why'd it go slack? Oh, wait, that's a pretty decent fish, I think. What the hell? Oh, wait a minute, hold on. Oh, wait, oh my God. Hold on. What do I have on? Whoa, that's actually pretty nice. Oh, wait, am I still filming? Yeah, oh, wait, this actually has some good head shakes. Oh, this might be a keeper fish. Come on, baby. Ooh. What is this? Oh, no way. Oh, that's a good flounder. That's a really good flounder. Oh, my God. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, my God. That's a huge man. Oh my god! Guys, I did not- Oh my god! This thing is massive! Oh my god! This is bigger than any of the flounder I've ever caught on a paddleboard! Oh my god! Dude, are you kidding me? Okay guys, so... I thought I was just gonna have a fun night in the water. thought I was just gonna only catch a small ass flounder. I didn't expect to catch a mat <laughs> i didn't expect to catch a big flounder today this is huge this is actually a very huge flounder i mean it's like almost the same size as my forearm like it's i mean it is right there like including the tail this thing is absolutely massive i did not think i was going to catch something this big but we're going to eat it up tonight i'm going to try and if there's a school of them i'm going to try and catch a couple more I already have the line out, but yeah, dude. I did not expect I did not expect to catch this carp today.